What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be covering Newton's linear interpolation. So what does that even mean? So basically we're going to be estimating, or not estimating, so basically we're going to be coming up with, we're going to be developing the equation of a line using Newton's linear interpolation. So remember that this is applied numerical methods, right? So this is Newton's linear interpolation and we're going to be developing the equation of a line given two points, right? So remember that the equation of a line is always y equals mx plus b, right? So this can also be written as a naught plus a1, pretty standard. This is just the general form of a polynomial. So in order to find the equation of a line, we always need two points. We always need two points to find the equation of our line, right? And see, we have two points, x0 and x1, f of x0 and f of x1. And this can also be written as y0 equals a0 and y1. So this can also be written as y0 and y1 equals a0 plus a1x0 and a0 plus a1x1. All right, so have these two equations, y0 and y1, we can solve using linear algebra techniques. But we don't want to do that in this video. We want to solve it without using any linear algebra, any Gaussian elimination. So that's how Newton's linear interpolation comes in hand. We can come up with our equation without having to do any matrices, any linear algebra. So let's see how we can do that, all right? So Remember the general form of our line is, let's call this B0. So this is the general form of our line, right? So, and if we have points X0 and X1, we can plug those in to get, so F1 of X0 is B0 plus B1. And then if you notice, this equals zero. So therefore, X, F1 of X0 is just equal to B0, right? So that's good. So now let's plug in our second point, because we have x1 we plugged in, and now we want to deal, or sorry, we had x0, which we plugged in, now we want to deal with x1. So, f1 of x1. So this is our second equation. If we plug in x1, we have f of x1 equals b0 plus b1, x1 minus x0, okay? So, we want to rearrange this and solve for b1. That's our second coefficient, right? Because we solve for b0, and we want to find B1, so let's rewrite this to get B1 to be f of x1 minus f of x0 all over x1 minus x0. So these two equations basically just saved us from doing any sort of Gaussian elimination because now when we go back to write our function of x, remember this was B0 plus B1. We have a B0 and we also have a b1 value now, right? So we can say f of x equals f1 of x0 plus f of x1 minus f of x0 over x1 minus x0 times x minus x0. So a bit of a tongue twister, but this is the general form of Newton's linear interpolation. So it is a little bit convoluted, but I mean, it's more useful when we're dealing with higher order functions but this is just an introduction on how to use his method. And we're going to be doing another video on uh, a quadratic formula. So that'll be a little bit more useful than the linear interpolation. But um, yes, this is basically the general formula that you're going to be needing to use when you're looking for an equation of a line. So let's do an example. So let's say you're given these x coordinates and this f of x. So this could be in the form of, you know, it could be velocity air pressure, whatever. And this could be, you know, distance, height, could be anything, any linear function that gives you these values or whatever, you can have data points. And we are interested in finding f of nine. So if you notice on here, we don't have an f of nine value, right? We have an eight and a 10, a 12, a six. So we got some pretty close points, but we don't have nine. So we need to develop our equation of our line and find our function value at x equals nine. So we need to look at the closest two values, the interval that holds our value of interest. So in this case, we're looking at 
these points here, because 9 is in between 8 and 10, right? So we want to develop our equation using these points, because these necessarily don't have to be a straight line um, equation. They could be random points, but we just want to interpolate linearly between the two closest points that we're given. So we could have, you know, say we have data points, and we're interested in an interval. Say we have data points looking like this, right? And we're interested in the interval between somewhere in here. So we would want to find the two closest points that we do know, and we could interpolate linearly what it would look like, and then we could find our points at uh, the specific values. All right, so back to the formula that we just developed. Remember, we just came up with this formula, right? So now we need to plug in some values. So we can say in this case, our x naught is equal to eight, giving our f of x naught equal to 22. And x1 equals 10, giving our f of x1 equal to 30. We just pulled those right off the chart, right? Right from the chart, right from the data points we were given, we got these values. So now literally all you gotta do is plug it into the formula and it's that simple. So let's check it out. f of x equals f of x naught, we said was 22, plus f of x1 minus f of x naught, so it's 30 minus 22, divided by 10 minus eight, because that's our x1 minus x naught, times x minus eight. Boom, it's that simple. So simplify this and you're gonna get f of x equals 4x minus 10, and that's your function, your linear, your linear interpolation of the data points that we were given. So remember the question, we need to find f of 9. So that is equals 4, and that gives us 26. So now, just double check, see if this makes sense. Looking back at our data points, we have our f naught of x is uh, 22, and then our f of x1 is 30. So our f of x9 is somewhere in between 26, so that does make sense. So there you have it. We just uh, interpolated a linear line, a linear equation, given a set of data points using Newton's interpolation method. So um, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, my next video, I'm going to do a quadratic formula uh, where it would be a little bit more useful um, than just interpolating a linear equation rather than doing the Gaussian elimination. So thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and check out my website at www.everythingeng.com. There will be a link in the description. Thanks.